Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhoneCaptain.com. Today we're going to be looking at the top 10 free tweaks for this week. It's August the 13th. The first one we're going to look at is called No Shutter Sound. And it does exactly what you think it would do. Uh, it takes the sh that shutter clicking sound away from your camera. I'll go ahead and take a screenshot here. Well, not a screenshot, but a shot with the camera app to show you. Listen very carefully. You can still see the screen flicker just a little bit, but that's if you don't want to hear that sound without having to put your phone on mute, that's a cool way to do it. Let's see, Facebook no need messenger, FB no need messenger. And this doesn't have any settings or anything to configure. You just install it and use it. But what it does is it re removes the requirement of install of requiring you to install Facebook Messenger when you want to chat in the Facebook app. So if you don't want to use the Facebook Messenger app, then just install this and you can continue using your Facebook messages just like always. It's called FB No Need Messenger. The next one is called Wipe Tracks. If you don't want your history to be logged while you're in Safari on your iOS device, you can install this and it doesn't keep up with your history. That way, you you know, if you don't want people knowing where you've been or you're planning a super private birthday party and don't want your special someone to find out by snooping around, this is a cool way to do that. It's called Wipe Tracks. And this one here is called Unlimited Safari Tabs. And what it does is it takes that 24 cap limit off of the Apple Stock Safari app and lets you have as many tabs as you want to have. It's called Unlim Safari Tabs. All right. The next one is called Panic Lock. And what this does is it allows you to lock down your phone using a gesture. And I've used the triple press of the home button. So now you can see we can still open the phone app. We can still open messages. Safari, we can still open. Any of that will still work. But if I triple press, now when I tap Facebook, or I'm sorry, the phone app, it won't open. None of these applications will open. The phone is locked down. However, you can still open the settings app. And I'm assuming that's just a precautionary measure to keep you from getting completely locked out in case you forget the gesture or something goes wrong. That's called panic lock. And to turn it off, you just hit the gesture action again, and it will allow you back into your phone. The next one is called Raspberry. And what Raspberry does, it allows you to align all of your items in your status bar either to the right or to the left. And if we go into the settings here and go down to Raspberry, right line status right here. Now you can you can uh, turn right or left on. I've actually turned it on for the left is what I prefer. But we can turn that off and turn it on the right. And you see everything up in the status bar now goes to the right. If you turn it off and turn it to the left, everything will line back up to the left the way I had it before. That's the way I prefer it. And it also has another setting if you want to make the uh, the name center and all that stuff, you can turn that off. So let's turn that off and take a look at what it looks. Smaller status bar on the lock screen. I have that turned on. It just makes your status bar a little bit smaller on the lock screen. Overall, it's a pretty cool tweak. Definitely one that I enjoy having. That's called Raspberry. The next one I'm going to just sort of talk about and show you a little bit about it as well. And it's called Blow to Unlock. And what this does, guys, it just allows you to, to actually blow at your phone and it unlocks. I'm not going to touch that one with a 10-foot pole. If you want to check it out, I did tell you about it. Check it out. It's called Blow to Unlock. It'll be listed on the screen and in the description as well. The next one here is called Fake My Connection Type. Now, what that will allow you to do is go up here. You see that VPN? That's coming from Fake My Connection Type. So if you want to fake some type of connection, 
You can turn that on. If you want a fake airplane mode, you can turn it on as well. And anything in here, if you want to put any of this stuff in your status bar, all you have to do is just turn it on, respring, and it'll be there. That's called Fake My Connection. The next one we're going to talk about is called App Color Close. Now, when you open an app, I mean, I'm sorry, put your apps in jiggle mode. You see the little X's there? They're different color than yours is because of this tweak I got installed. So if we go in here now to the settings and go to app color close, we can update some of this stuff to be different colors by sliding the slider bar. So if we slide it all the way to the right and we put them back in jiggle mode, you see they're a little bit darker. So that's coming from app color close. The last one we're gonna look at is called Chroma. C-H-R-O-M-A. And if we turn this on, and it says respring required, we'll go ahead and do a respring. This puts a tint, a colored tint, to all of the different parts of your phone. You'll see what it is I'm talking about here just in a second when the respring comes back up. Now, going back to that tweak earlier, you see now we have the little airplane up there and the 4G that's coming from that tweak after we resprung, you see it put it in the status bar. Now, Chroma actually colorizes different parts of your phone. Um, I'm sorry, of your device. So if you wanted to change any kind of colors, you know, of the like status bars, things like that, you can do that using this actual tweak here. So let's go back in here to Chroma and you can have dark dark tint or green. We'll go with something sort of greenish so it'll stand out. And you see the little settings up here it's a dark blue. That's coming through that Chroma. And if there's some certain app you don't want it to, do, to uh, colorize just simply exclude it in here. Put a check mark by it. You know, such as the App Store or Camera or Calendar, you know, any of those, it won't colorize now because I turned it off. So now if we wanted to have something that looks sort of pink on the light tint color, we could turn that on if we wanted to, okay? So now let's just go in here and look around uh, inside Chroma. If we open up some of these settings here just to sniff around a little bit, you'll see that the tint on a lot of this stuff has been colorized using Chroma. Guys, that's 10 awesome free tweaks. I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. It really helps us up a great deal. Subscribe and keep coming back.